have is homework. Uh -huh. But then in Jesus. Yes. The choice is yours. Yes. Somebody say, well, I've been saved Reverend, a long time ago. Uh-huh. Do you know I've been saved since I've been saved? I had to come back to how many been to the altar lately? And you ask God to help you do put on some stuff that you used to do, and you find yourself doing it again. I ain't talking about nobody in here. Please stand on your feet. Amen. I told you 15 minutes. And I'm, I'm an old man. You got to hear clock tonight. <laughs> clock will take it up tonight. Clock is one of them sand preachers. <laughs> 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 Somebody in here. Come on, close your eyes. I mean, I know Jesus. I'm not going to assume that everybody in here know Jesus. Know the one that we're talking about. I'm not going to assume that. This is just your conference. But if you don't know Jesus, it could be the best day of your life. If you're not saved, if you're not, have you not ever told Jesus to take my life, Lord, use it, I give you my life. That's my choice. I'm finished with the devil. Take my life and use me the way you see me. You can come on my right or my left. Whoever you are. If you don't know Jesus Christ, the doors of the church is open. Come by let them what about to the Christian experience? Our song of invitation to discipleship. Somebody on my right, somebody on my left.
call the pastor to come on both sides of him. All, if you pastor the church, you come on both sides of him. Just line up. Don't, don't smother him. Let to extend the line out.